ago. A lone explorer named Arne Saknussen made a fantastic descent of the fabled lost kingdom of Atlantis at the Earth's core. After many centuries, his trail was discovered. First by me, Professor Oliver Lindenbrook, my niece Cindy, student Alec McEwen, our guide Lars, and his duck Gertrude. But we were not alone. The evil Count Saknussen, last descendant of the once noble Saknussen family, had followed us to claim the center of the Earth for his power mat schemes. He ordered his brute-like servant, Tor, to destroy our party. But the plan backfired, sealing the entrance forever. And so for us began a desperate race to the Earth's core to learn the secret of the way back. This is the story of our new journey to the center of the Earth. A secret cave! Life's 40 thieves! We've 49! Time for your Cheerios, kid! Right, Sue! Get yourself go! Get Cheerios! Energy-O's that help you grow! Get yourself go! Go power! Power O's! Come on strong with Cheerios! Start feeling your Cheerios! Go with Cheerios! The Zeroids are here, from the planet Zero, the Zeroids! Zerak, the Zeroid commander, frees himself from his own Zeroid capsule. Advance! Zobor, the Zeroid transporter, change his Zeroid capsule into a Cosmobile for hauling. Zintar, the Zeroid explorer, change his Zeroid capsule into a lunar sled. Command the Zeroids to defend, move forward, backward, and transport. Command the Zeroids from Ideal! Big monster, put me down! Alec! Alec! 
a pit trap. Something is in there with him. He's trapped down there. So is the beast. Look at that bone in its shoulder. It's crazed with anger. We must do something. Lars, do. Good work, Lars. Alec, use the vine like a ladder. Yeah, Lars will hold it steady. That was close. What is that thing down there anyway? Some sort of prehistoric man-beast. The poor thing is hurt. That thorn in its shoulder. It can't grip with those claws. Lars, take mine out to pit. Be go. No, wait. The fight has gone out of the beast. He's asking for our help. He does look almost human. The poor thing. I'm going down there. Easy, fella, easy. Uncle Oliver, be careful. Come back! Lars, kill monster! No, Lars, wait! That's it, fella. Nothing to be afraid of. Now, let's take a look at that thorn. Hold still. It'll only take a minute. It's out! The poor thing! It's almost human! It is human, Alec. Not in the sense we know, but human enough to understand. That's okay, fella. We'll leave the thorn ladder right here. Look like Lars don't need rock anymore. Our man-beast friend can climb out when he gets his strength back. New friend, not only monster in fine jungle. Look! This trail holds many dangers. We'd better get going. We've got a lot of catching up to do. To catch up to Count Sacknos and we will have to fly now like Gertrude. We are going to fly. Over the rushing waters of that underground gorge on a vine raft. Boat was moving same direction as trail. But at 90 miles an hour. Anyone want to back out? Gertrude, not you. No, no. Gertrude brave and foolish like the rest of us. She only say if raft turned over. She glad she's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> And I say to you, are rabbits never to taste tricks, the fruit-flavored cereal? No. Are rabbits never to enjoy the tricks, real fruit colors? Raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange orange? Never. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Wait, this is not the American way. All you kids watching is your chance to vote on it. Look for these specially marked boxes of tricks. On the back, there's a voting ballot. Vote yes if you want the rabbit to get tricks. Vote no if you don't want the rabbit to get tricks. Or send a postcard with your vote to Box 3, Minneapolis, Minnesota. You can send in as many votes as you like. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. But maybe I'll get a box if you send in a yes vote for the rabbit. They're new. They're authentic. They're the fastest miniature metal cars you've ever seen. New Hot Wheels, only from Mattel. California custom style cars with power bulges, torsion bar suspensions, chrome engines, red stripe racing slicks. New Hot Wheels. There's more. Collect them by themselves or get them in action sets with special track and accessories. So you can race them. Stunt them. Choose from the strip action set. The drag race action set. The stunt action set. The hot curves race action set. New Hot Wheels, only from Mattel. The fastest miniature metal cars you've ever seen. Oh. 
love you. Free kitty bang bang, kitty kitty bang bang, we love you. Now free and post honeycomb, a plastic model of a fantastic chitty chitty bang bang car. It comes with magic cutout wings and makes its own funny noise, like the one in the movie. My kitty got into the honeycomb castle. Mine's gonna fly, bet I beat ya. Collect all three colors, one free in each specially marked box of post honeycomb. Chitty chitty bang bang, we love you. Hang on, everybody. Stay together. Good food. There is good food. I thought you had her. I did, but now she's not here. Gertrude! Gertrude! Oh, oh. Come, come, from oh, dear. What? There she is. Yes. What is Duck doing in crow's nest? Stupid bird. She's not so stupid. If there were room enough in that crow's nest, I'd join her myself. When does this end? We can't hang on much longer. Lock arms. We're headed for a big one. When Professor say flying, he means flying. There, Alec. See what she's found. <laughs> she's found an island dead ahead. Good. Come on down. Bring Gertrude. And please do not use that bird dead. Straight ahead, then. We're nearly there. Any nice, friendly monsters on an island? No, it's small and deserted. Good. Oh, safe at last. We can use rest. You can say that again. If I have to face another monster, I'll scream. Hold on. Yeah, he'll be going again. Yeah. Here comes Gertrude. Yeah. A suicide dive. Right on target. Didn't hurt it at all. Cindy, Alex, Professor, is that you? <laughs> Cindy, where are you? Here, Alex. Here comes Lars. Where's Uncle Oliver? Here is Professor's rope. I pull him in. Crow of Monster cut Professor loose. There he is. Look. Over here. <laughs> and there's Gertrude. What happened to the sea monster? Something scared of me. I'll bet it was Gertrude. No, not Gertrude. Look, Professor, above you, look out. Too late. He's caught him. <laughs> He's trapped in the giant's cage. And we are helpless to save him. <laughs> we must do something. <laughs> what can we do? He is so big. We are so small. We can't stay here. We used to have to follow and try to help Professor somehow. <laughs> We had enough rope. We'll need more luck than this to save poor Uncle Oliver. She's right. We don't even know which way the giant has taken him. Maybe not. But somebody does. Good old Gertrude. I've never seen her look so frightened. <laughs> Volcano 
cave. Hurry! <laughs> Alec, I found him. We're coming out. Okay, Lars, 
Light the second fuse! just say, look, he's moving to that large rock. Check new Simard. Pointing south. That's our new direction, to the center of the Earth, through the valley of volcanoes. Maybe he'll come along, show us the way. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Ah. I'm afraid not. He looks frightened. A powerful man beast be frightened. Can you imagine what danger waits for us? Imagination is sometimes worse than the real thing. Well, there's only one way to find out. Right. Let's go. Yes. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At last, free of that fine jungle. Oh, it was worth the effort, Toy. It points the way to a city of gold. And look there. My uncle's mark pointing south. Yes. But look what he is pointing to. Oh, him again. Uh, we better head north. Wait for dark. Oh. <laughs> This is a creature from the lost world, a creature created by you. With Mattel's strange change machine, you turn time capsules into weird creatures. You control the compression chamber, which turns these creatures back into capsules. Be the creator of a lost world with Mattel's strange change machine. to see something? No, really. It's my great new offer inside packages of Quake cereal. Look. You glow in the dark. There's Mama, too, and the Cave Cat. Actually, kids, they are glow-in-the-dark stickers. You can put them anywhere, on a wall, on a lamp, even on you. You'll glow wherever you go. Let's see you top that, Quisp. Okay. How about a real working spacecraft? That fits in the palm of your hand. You just fold in the chute, seal the cockpit, and throw it. In a few seconds, pop, a recovery chute blossoms out, and your spacecraft floats back to Earth. Get yours today. 50 cents and two box tops from Kuwisp Cereal. Aha, but there's one glowy inside every specially marked package of Quake Cereal. Get my spacecraft. Get my glowies. But mine's better. No, mine is. No, mine. Mine is better.
you heard came from the Sound of Power Astrogun by Marks. It's out of this world. Listen. It's creepy. It's eerie. Get the Sound of Power Astrogun by Marks. It's out of this world. Hey, come with me. I'm going to show you what's happening in the world of fancy. The world of fancy. He's the newest, kickiest thing you've ever seen. With long, flippy hair, real eyelashes, and her own eyelash brush. The world of Francie. Francie's the very latest. She's got kicky go-go skirts, and mod stockings. And now she twists and turns at the waist, and bends at the legs. You can even get her with a special mod carrying case. The world of Francie. With a newest happening, it's a swinging new friend named Casey. With a groovy short haircut, Casey also twists and turns and wears Francie's clothes. Like wild raincoats, bell bottoms, and far out formal. This is the swinging world. The just now world. The world of Francie and Casey. They're what's happening. They're from Mattel. D.F. Combined Miniature Defense Force. Project Fantastic Voyage. Process Miniaturization. Authority Top Secret Highest Clearance. Team Jonathan Kidd Commander. Guru Master of Mysterious Powers. Erica Lane Doctor Biologist. Busby Birdwell, scientist, inventor, builder of the Voyager. Mission, in their miniaturized form, to combat the unseen, unsuspected enemies of freedom. Time limit, 12 hours. They're the fastest metal cars you've ever seen. Mattel's new Hot Wheels. Collect them by themselves or get them in wild new action sets like the Drag Race action set. The Stunt action set. The Hot Curves race action set. Get Mattel's new Hot Wheels. The fastest metal cars you've ever seen. Fly, sir, but I don't see what it has to do with the accident. It is not a butterfly. I suppose it's a tuna fish with wings? I mean, it is not a normal butterfly. And that explosion was no accident. It was caused by those renegade butterflies. And it'll happen again unless we do something. Gentlemen, this is Herman Brown Metal. Herman is a butterfly collector. Sounds like he's got a few bats, too. I do not. You'll see. Emergency! Emergency! Go on. The atomic reactor in Blue Mountain, it's just blown up! Was anything unusual observed? Nothing, sir, except for a swarm of butterflies that flew over the grounds just before the explosion. Three days ago, Herman accidentally discovered a swarm of these same butterflies in a remote field in northern Vermont. 
What's so unusual about that? It's very unusual. First, butterflies never travel in swarms. Second, this type of butterfly is never found in Vermont. And third... The butterflies were radioactive. And so is the whole field. What's it mean, sir? It means that the clue to these disasters may be in that meadow. You've got to find it, fast, or every nuclear site in the country may become an atomic bomb. Are you ready, Mr. Kidd? Ready, Professor. Do we have to take him along? Yes. He'll act as your guide. Prepare for miniaturization. Set at 1-200. complete. Stop process. The time is 9.0. Prepare for beam. Hey, <laughs> can't be slowed down. <laughs> we haven't even started moving yet. <laughs> That's enough fooling around, Busby. Straighten it up. We're almost there. We should be over it now. That's a lot of ground. All right, we're too, Herman. Search me. Well, where did you see the swarm? I can't remember. <laughs> Some guy you turned out to be. Hey, look back. The butterflies. Follow them, Busby. What do you mean? They're following us. Take us out, Busby! I'm trying to... Oh, no! There's one chance. Herman, is this formaldehyde? Yes, but I need it for my specimen. If this doesn't work, we'll be the specimens. Prepare to clear the exhaust. Flying street cleaner. They're heading down. Stay with them, Busby. Yes, sir. What is that thing? That's an old abandoned anthill. Or at least it was. I'm going in there. Get me a parachute. We're going too. It's too risky. You land and wait till I radio you. What? Mr. Kidd is right. Do not argue. His dangers have only begun, Miss Lane. Looks like something ahead. There's another opening. What was that? Change me. Look! A bear! Wow. That was some fall. Lucky this ground is crumbling. Now I'd better find out where those butterflies are going. Going in there. There's something here, all right, but what is it? I can get up there. It looks like some kind of control center. Rockets. They must be the leaders. But why are they here? I'm worried. We should have heard from Jonathan by now. I know. Maybe we better... Come in, Voyager. Come in. Wait. Do not answer. 
I sense others listening. Listening? How? By radar? Precisely. Well, I'll be. That's radar, all right. Let me see. If we use the radio, the transmission of our voices will give away our position. Give away their position? What's the matter with you people? Professor Carter, don't you know your radio's on? Herman, you turned the set on. I know we shouldn't have taken him. Hurry, we must leave immediately. Right. It is no use. This material is not grass. <laughs> They're like rubber. The Voyager. They've trapped her. Maybe if I can destroy that machine, they can get free. Look, something's happened to them. Busby, try it again. It. Yes, but at Mr. Kidd's expense, I fear. We've got to go back. Right. Only this time, tell that idiot to keep his broomstick locked up. Something tells me I'd better get moving. Hey, I hold on it. This is worse than a maze. Let's see where this one leads. Uh-oh, wrong door. What? Another wall. Here to tell you about our great new offer. Right. It's my free Quake adventure book. B -b -but and I... here it is. 20 big pages, chuck full of games, puzzles, adventures, hours of fun as you kids and I work together to outwit that nasty Simon Lagrini. My mini movies are better. Mini movies? See? On the outside of each package of Quake, an exciting adventure in outer space. On the inside, the special mini viewer. Clip the strip, slip into the viewer, and you got a mini movie. You can get my adventure book free for three box stops from Quake, the Earthquake Power Serial. My mini movie comes right with the Quest package, and there are four different ones. But you get six color crayons with my book. Mine's better. Mine's better. Which will you choose, Quake's adventure book or Quisp's mini movie? Spell is post alphabets, W-A-L-K-Wall. Sugary alphabets, T-A-L-K tall. Tastiest cereal you ever met. It's so good eating up the alphabet. Spell is post alphabets, G-O-A-T gold. Sugary alphabets, B-O-A-T bold. Tastiest cereal you ever met. It's so good eating up the alphabet. Is a car my honeycomb. Now, free in specially marked boxes of Post Honeycomb. Get a detailed model of an exciting 1969 Mercury. Get free cyclones, marauders, marquees, cougars, all in bright colors like the real thing. You'll love racing them, collecting them, trading them with your friends. There's a honey of a car free in Post Honeycomb. Start your collection now. Voyager reports they're going into the hill after kids, sir. Very well, but they'd better hurry up. Who are you? 
Commander Jonathan Kidd, CMDF serial number one. And just who are you? We are from planet so far away. Your astronomers have not even discovered it yet. Ah, uh, why talk with him? We are wasting time. Remove him. Is he the commander here? I am the commander. What are you doing here? Many years ago, a solar explosion left our planet radioactive. Now, to remain alive, we require more atomic power. And so, we must collect atomic energy from other planets, including this one. We use butterflies to collect the radioactive particles. No one would ever suspect such harmless creatures. Until he came along, he must be destroyed immediately. Hold it. What if we agree to supply you with the atomic power you need? Why? So you won't blow up half the country, that's why. It is a trick. Let me contact my government. I'm sure they'll agree. Destroy him. I will consider the offer. Take the passage to the left. Are you sure? Ants always build their nests in counterclockwise circles. Which way now? To the right. And we should be right in the center. Slowly now, Busby. A dead end! Counterclockwise circles, huh? Maybe it was mud wasps. Oh. Turn it around, Busby. What's that? Uh-oh. Hurry, Busby! Considered it, and I have decided to trust you. <laughs> you see, it was a trick. He was stalling until his friends came. Get him! This should block them. <laughs> I'd better run for it. Thank goodness this floor is crumbling. Is everyone all right? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. You would be. Come on, let's get out of here. Boy, how are we ever going to get it out? Beats me. Silence. Something is coming. I don't hear you. Quiet. Look up there. The butterflies! Get under cover, quick! What are they doing? They are lost. The cave-in has confused them. Great! That's all we need. Perhaps it is what we need. Give me a rope. Is that the Indian rope trick? That did it! Let's get going! I just hope we can find him in time. Boy, there must be a hundred miles of tunnels inside here. We've looked everywhere. There's one place we haven't looked. Where? Wherever Mr. Kid is. Give me strength. What was that? Look! It's the rockets! The 
They must be taking Jonathan away with them. Oh, here goes another one. Get us out, quickly. I am sorry, Mr. Kidd. I would like to trust you, but I cannot. We are leaving this site now to go to another many miles away. You mean you're going to blow up some other unsuspecting place? Unfortunately, that is correct. And we must also destroy this hill. So there will be no evidence of our presence. In 10 minutes, a charge will be driven into the atomic pile, blowing up this hill and everything in it. Again, I am sorry. Goodbye. Hey, what's that ahead? That's it. Come on. It's sealing off. Well, here's where I try out my new improvement. almost time. Where is it? Oh, no. It's too late. We're goners. What are you... Darn it. That was my best net. Don't worry, Herman. I'll personally knit you another one. And I shall make it unbreakable. We're not out yet. Come on. We've got to save them. We'll never get those rocks off. Perhaps I can, my friend. Hey, how did that happen? Hurry. This place won't last long. Earthmen can be trusted, Mr. Kidd, for both our sakes. So am I. My government says it'll gladly give you whatever atomic power you need. You'll be on your way back in no time. Good. And if there is anything my people can do for Earth, we will always be ready. Well, I can't think of anything right now. I can. Have you got any butterflies up there? Oh, Herman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at gang, you got a crystal ball free and post super sugar crisp. A crystal ball with a big, big bounce. Look what you can do with it. Crystal ball with a big, big bounce. Big bounce, big bounce, free and super sugar crisp. Collect them. Take a look inside and you can see it all with a free crystal ball. Get your crystal ball with a big, big bounce. Free, free, free and super sugar crisp. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Right. Here, Ronald. I get it. Just follow the bouncing ball. McDonald's <laughs> is our kind of place. Oh, well, this way. 
Hey, Wolf! Hey, Wolf! Well, no matter how you get there, it's always fun to go to McDonald's. Come on over. McDonald's is your kind of place. strange change machine and this is a time capsule and this is a creature from the lost world a creature created by you you control the strange change machine which brings the capsules to life and you control the compression chamber which turns these creatures back into capsules you bring strange creatures to life. You send them back. Because with these 16 mysterious time capsules and Mattel's strange change machine, you are the creator of a lost world. <laughs> Thank you, Sea Dog. And now, for the finale of tonight's ship's concert, I, the great Horatio, will make Captain Crunch disappear. But you're Captain Crunch. Please, you're giving away the plot. Now, can I have a couple of volunteers from the audience? Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, great Horatio. Good. Now, observe. I fill these bowls with Captain Crunch cereal and say the magic words. Captain Crunch is sugar sweet with corn for crunch and oats for punch. And it stays crunchy, even in milk. Those are magic words? See for yourself. The Captain Crunch has disappeared. Yay! Did you learn that trick from the sages of the East? No, from the folks at Quaker. <laughs> they thought I was going to say some phony magic word like Halakazam. <laughs> for two. Fast, easy to play, and exciting. You command captains and lieutenants and colonels. You may catch an international spy. Or be destroyed by a hit and bomb. Or capture your enemy's flag. And win the game. So get... Stratego! By Milton Bradley. The 
Take your hammer, then you aim it straight. Hold it tight, swing it right. Bash! It's great. Oh, it's bash, bash, bash. Brand new Milton Bradley game. Bash, bash, bash. Great new Milton Bradley game. Everybody gets a turn to hit him where you choose. But if you're too strong or you hit him wrong, bash! You lose. Oh, it's bash, bash, bash. Brand new Milton Bradley game. Bash, bash, bash. Great new Milton Bradley game. Remember... Milton Bradley makes the best games in the world. Get back! Jughead joined Riverdale High's camera club. He's been shutterbug. Now he's shooting a movie with Hot Dog as the star. <laughs> what a waste of film. Especially when future matinee idols, such as I, are available for the asking. Quiet on the set. Ready, lights, camera, action. Okay, Hot Dog, take up where we left off. Good, good. Now, into the drama! <laughs> That's a no-no! would be more fitting. How's the movie coming along, Jug? Oh, 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 hi, gang. It's just fine, fine. Do you mind if we watch? This is the first movie set I've ever been on. Then make yourselves at home. Some movie set. <laughs> Jughead's backyard. And on top of that, hot dog playing a part of a pirate. <laughs> it's Jughead's movie, Reggie. He can do as he likes. Well, if I were making a pirate movie, I would use that old abandoned shipwreck off the coast as my set. Shipwreck? Uh, well, it just so happens that shipwreck off the coast. Sure. And I, <clears throat> we, could be your real live actors. My, that does sound exciting, doesn't it? Say, it does at that. I wonder if I can borrow a red beard somewhere. By golly, Reg, uh, as we say in the showbiz, that is a sensational idea. I say it stinks. Quiet on the set! Positions, everybody. Okay, hot dog, you're on. <laughs> Boy, I'm only in showbiz a few hours, and already I'm a has-been. Huh, a dog's bark. Perhaps Redbeard comes to save me. That's neat acting, Ronnie. You're on, Archie. I'll do that, Arch. I shall save you, fair damsel. I, your dashing, gallant, debonair hero. Hey, what gives, Reg? Have you flipped? This is acting, Jog, acting. This was my scene. Not anymore. Hey, Reg, you are hiding Veronica from the camera. That's real showbiz, Jug. Okay, Arch. Now, this is the scene where you plead with the crew to not make you walk the plank. Roll them. Ah, oh, mommy! Ah, oh, mommy! Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, man. Ah, uh, please, spare your captain's life. Hey, <laughs> my balls are my lines! Cut, cut! Oh, <laughs> how clumsy of me. Be my guest. And now for a little romance. Roll them! Oh, Redbeard, I just can't resist you. Reggie Mantle? Cut, cut, cut! In this scene, you swing over and save Betty, Arch. Action! Oh, Redbeard, save me too. <laughs> No fear! Redbeard is here! Reggie! That was my line, too! All right, quiet on the set! Quiet! No more interruptions! Don't worry, Jughead. 
Reggie isn't going to interrupt this scene. Untie me at once, Archie. My public will hear about this. Okay, hot dog. This is another of your big scenes. Big deal. Two scenes. Roll em. Action. <laughs> Now he's stealing hot dogs lines. I really believe Reggie suggested this whole thing just so he could steal our scenes. He's stealing the camera. Hey! He's starstruck. I'm a star. A star. A star. <laughs> I'm a star. Hello, fans. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Come back with the camera, Reggie. Imagine letting himself get so carried away. They'll name children after me. Breakfast cereal, even. <laughs> Not to mention dog food. Come on, Reggie. You're using up all the film. Oops, the film. Don't tell me the camera wasn't loaded, Juggy. No, it's loaded, all right. I'm going to crash Hollywood. I'm going to take Hollywood by storm. I'm going to make a big... <laughs> Splash. That he did. That he did. <laughs> well, Jughead, I understand that you made an interesting film. Yes, sir. We just finished developing it. It's going to be shown at assembly, Mr. Weatherby. You must be sure to see it. It really is interesting. Hmm. And uh, who stars in it? Would you uh, like my uh, autograph, Mr. Weatherby? <laughs> Reggie? I uh, just happen to have some photos, too. <laughs> Um, um, oh, uh, say, Reg, I want to tell you something. Uh, not now, chum. I must get my autograph booth set up outside Assembly Hall. <laughs> I uh, wonder if I should charge for my photos. Oh, they love me. He's sensational. He's wonderful. He's marvelous. He's stupendous. Oh, what a smash. Huh. I can't stand it anymore. I must see myself. Here I am, you lucky people. Right, that's tell you, Reg. I forgot and left the same film in the camera that I had taken movies of Hot Dog with. And you and Hot Dog got sort of double exposed. <laughs> but cheer up, Reg. You are in one scene. Speak to me, Reg. Reg? Reg? Cheer up, Reggie. We are still your fans. Everyone gets stage struck once in a while. No, I'm a heel. An egomaniac. A, a, a... Quiet on the set! Shughead! Silence! 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 <laughs> and the name is Forsyth P. Jones, the director. The, the director. director? Now quiet! Lights! Action! Deck the halls! Deck, Deck the halls! The halls. You're on Hot Dog Baby! Hot Dog Baby? What do you make of it, Archikins? I guess that's showbiz! moments, the gang and I will show you another brand new groovy dance step that you can all watch and learn. So, don't go away! Lucky Locket, Kittle, Lucky Locket, Kittle, Lucky Lockets are such fun, a tiny Kittle's in each one you will find if you check a chain to go round your neck. Lucky Locket, Kittle, Lucky Locket, Kittle, Wear them like a locket, clip them on your pocket, fasten one in your hair, watch how people will stare. Lucky locket, kiddle, lucky locket, kiddle, see how groovy they look, on a purse or a book, hook them up one by one, make a chain, see what fun. Lucky locket, kiddle, lucky locket, kiddle, open them up this way, take 
could get out to play. Come along, join the fun. Collect them like everyone. Lucky lock it, kiddo. Lucky lock it, kiddo. You can tell they're much help. You can tell cause they're swell. This is Professor Goody speaking to you from a diving bell 400 feet beneath the ocean where I'm about to prepare some delicious Aunt Jemima frozen waffles just for me, not for that pesky waffle whipper. Waffle, waffle, waffle. I take them from the freezer, pop them into the toaster, and mmm, light, crisp, golden brown with Aunt Jemima syrup on them. Aunt Jemima waffles for kids who like a square meal for breakfast. Wallace, please stop! All right, Wallace, won't you join me? That's a waffle whipper whipping an Aunt Jemima waffle. They're in your grocer's freezer. Is there a waffle whipper at your house? And now, a brand new dance to watch and learn. The Grundy. Here comes Grundy. Step to the left and stomp. Step to the right and stomp. Step to the middle and wait. Step straight ahead and stomp. Step straight back and stomp. And do it all over again. That's the Grundy. That's the Grundy. a brand new song. First a little guitar, and then some bass, and here come the drum, and a little organ. Oh, what would we do without a rock and roll music? Rock and roll music, shoo, rock and roll. Yeah, what would we do without a rock and roll music? Rock and roll music. You feel all right Feel all right all night Rock and roll music Make you dance all night Dance all night all right Rock and roll music Make you feel so good Make you feel good Like the music should oh, What can we do without a rock
Golly, I wonder what's bugging Jug. I think he's in love. I do too, Betty. Ha! All Jughead loves is food. <sighs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Somebody's sweet, and I know who. Maybe you girls are right. Look! Of course! It's the new girl in town, Paula Pingle and her poodle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's him. It's written all over his face. She doesn't even know he exists. Huh? Oops. Watch it, Jughead. <laughs> Good morning, Klaus. Good, Good morning, morning, Miss Brandy. Oh, Jughead Jones, what's the meaning of this? You know the classroom is no place for a dog. Lucky dog. <laughs> <laughs> that will be enough. Come, hot dog. And Jughead, you will write I'm sorry 100 times on the blackboard. <laughs> Great dictionaries, what now? Oh, oh, Jughead, will you please sit down? <laughs> Boy, Jughead was a riot today, wasn't he? Yeah, he sure got the bug. Well, hello there, Jughead. How's my best customer? I'll have a dozen Pingle Burgers, please. Pingle Burgers! <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes Paula now. Just watch Juggy. himself to Paula. Yes, look. <laughs> May I have this dance? <sighs> You're gorgeous. You're so light on my feet. You're hot. Poor Jug. He didn't get to meet her. Oh, it's a shame. Paula Pingle, the name makes my toes tingle. She brings out the poet in me. Ah, oh, Paula's poodle, padoodle, padoodle. Well, looks like I'll have to depend on my good looks. Ah, <coughs> oh, Paula, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, Paula's poodle. Padoodle, padoodle, padoodle. Weeks have passed and still Juggy hasn't managed to meet Paula. It's getting ridiculous. Just say hi to him and all he says is Paula Pingo. Yeah, it's even affected his appetite. I'll have a cracker to go, please. Looks like he and Hot Dog aren't getting much sleep either. I say it's about time someone played Cupid. Do you think that's wise? Why not? It's not really our business, Reg. Well, I'll make it mine. <laughs> Hold everything. Paula Pingle and Poodle meet Jughead Jones and Hot Dog. Paula Pingle. P -p -p Paula P Pingle. <laughs> Hello there. It's pretty obvious that you all were uh, meant for each other, so may you live happily ever after. Sorry, we are already in love with secret admirers. <laughs> Sorry, Egghead and Chili Dog. Egghead. Chili Dog? I've been crushed, squawed, beat out. 
whoever the other man is, I can't stand him. I hate him. I don't even like him. That goes for his dog, too. Come on now, Reggie. You old jug had an apology for shattering his dreams. How was I to know she had another love? Archie, look! Huh? My goodness. They're walking in their sleep. Where could they be going? Let's find out. What? They're headed for Paula Pingle's house. I got it. Jug and Hot Dog are going to ambush their competition. Oh, my goodness. Jughead's subconscious mind is seeking revenge. We got to stop him. Hold it, gang. Look. Oh, Penelope, it's our Prince Charmings. Ah, oh, Paula, you're a vision of loveliness. <laughs> You'd never come. <laughs> Chughead and Hot Dog are the other lovers. He's been courting her in his sleep. Ah, my loveliness. You are too beautiful for words. You are. Huh? <laughs> Get away! Get Zooks! Where, 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 where am I? You're in Paula Pingle's yard, Jughead. Paula Pingle? Did you that? That's Paula Pingle. Egghead, chili dog. I gotta be dreaming. Where are you, my Prince Charming? Having a nightmare. That's where. Chughead had never seen a girl in hair curlers before. <laughs> Isn't that silly, Archie and Reggie? Man. Hmm. Captain Crunch. <laughs> Smedley the elephant has run off with our peanut butter cereal. Smedley? Yep. Look here. An empty chest. And elephant tracks. Uh oh Well, it was a temptation, I suppose. You all know how keen peanut butter cereal tastes. Yeah, it's sweet and crunchy. With honest to peanut butter flavor. Great for breakfast. Snacks, too. You could hardly blame him. I don't think he did it. Well, how do you explain those tracks? <laughs> it's me, Jean Lafoute, making off with, how you say, the loot. Au revoir, Captain Crunch. Hello, Smedley. <laughs> I knew he didn't do it. I got it. Good work, Smedley. What happened? Well, John, <laughs> I'd say you got off on the wrong foot. Get Captain Crunch's peanut butter cereal from Quaker. From U.S. Aerospace Research comes Space Food Sticks. A nutritious food developed to give men lasting energy for long space flights. Now you can buy this kind of energy. Energy for hard play. Energy for hard work. Lasting energy to feel alive. Chocolate, caramel, and peanut butter, about 44 calories. They're at your grocers. Space Food Sticks, the energy snack from U.S. Aerospace Research and Pillsbury.
There's a new kind of pudding and you can make it. It's called shake a pudding. See the crazy ways to shake it. Shake, shake, shake a pudding. Shake it at the park. Shake it at the pool. Shake it for dessert. Shake it at the school. New shake a pudding dessert mix with cups and lids and spoons to make four puddings. Water and powder go in the cup. Snap on the lid and then you shake it up. Shake, shake, shake a pudding. Shake it on the side, shake it on your back. Any way you shake it, you got a crazy snack. Vanilla. Crazy. Butterscotch. Crazy. Banana. Crazy. Chocolate. Crazy. It's all shake a pudding, and that's what you do. Shake a pudding? Shake a pudding. New from Royal. What a crazy way to make a snack. Shake, shake, shake a pudding. There I was in my thoughtless camel. Suddenly engine trouble. Just the mom called for breakfast. And that meant toasted. Great toaster pastry filled with delicious fruit jams. Like strawberry. Sweet apple. Juicy cherry. Fresh blueberry. Just put them in the toaster and presto. Toastettes from Nabisco. Makes breakfast more fun than a sop with camel. Toastettes from Nabisco. The toaster pastry from a baker. Now. Which Flintstone vitamin today? Pino. Wow, a dinosaur race! Mm -hmm. On your hook! Boom! Yum, yum, do, yum, yum, do. Flintstone vitamin is good for you. Dino wins! Only one Flintstone a day, Bob, gives kids all the vitamins they normally need to take or when they don't eat right. Yabba dabba do! Men with work to do need new PowerMite power tools. PowerMite saber saw, drill, sander, and circular saw. They're safe to use. Run on battery power. Ideal supplies the building materials. Make almost anything you want. Buy the PowerMite's workbench with six hand tools plus PowerMite saber saw, drill, bits, materials, plans. Buy them separately in the carrying case with battery power source. Get PowerMite power tools from Ideal for men with work to do. And that was for all the kids at Central High. And kids, if you enjoy good music and good cereal, here's an offer you won't want to miss. <laughs> now you can get all the monkeys' greatest hits free on post alphabets, honeycombs, and frosted rice crinkles. Let's listen. <laughs> Twelve great songs, four on alphabets, four on honeycombs, four on new rice crinkles. One song free on each box. The monkeys' greatest hits, free from those music lovers at post. And now for Judy and Paul, Sam and Pat, Saul and Eddie. Meet Major Matt Mason, Mattel's man in space, and the bravest astronaut yet. He lives on the moon. We may all be there soon. And he gets around with a jet. Until Sergeant Storm in his red uniform, Major Matt worked all alone. Now, together, they face the dangers of space and seek to learn the unknown. The machines that they drive seem almost alive as they transport the adventurous pair. The new AstroTrack whips through the black. And Fireboat even goes where they meet Captain Laser, his space gear ablaze with energy stored from the stars. He's a giant, it's true, but a friendly one who spent his boyhood on Mars. An exciting place, the world of space, as all the astronauts know. This world is swell. It's made by Mattel. With it, how far can you go? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
We'll go get him. You guys wait here. Get who? Oh, some Indian prince. He's coming to a school here. And we're supposed to look out for him. State room 404. This way. Your Highness. Hey, Prince, are you there? Yow! What's that? It's a royal falcon. Well, why would the prince leave it? Beats me, but he's left all right. No suitcases, nothing. Hey, here's something. A pawn ticket from a Bayport pawn shop. I don't get it. Neither do I. What's that? Uh, nothing. I guess not. Wait, look, those indentations. Maybe there's a word here. Well, what is it? Kidnapped. Kidnapped? Come on. Wait, there's something else. An address. 6414 East Lewis. Maybe they've taken him there. Well, what about her? Take her along. Who, oh, me? Maybe he's afraid someone might hear. There they are! And I got a feeling something's wrong! <laughs> I knew it! Kidnapping! Mm -hmm. We'll split up. You guys take the address, we'll take the pawn shop. Well, who's taking that? I am. Good! <laughs> Bayport Pawn Shop. There. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, what can I get for you? This. The ring that Indian guy bought, huh? Yeah, well, that's pretty expensive. How much? Uh, $500. $500? Where are we gonna get that much bread? I will redeem it. I am Ahmed Singh. A friend to the prince. Then you know what's happened. I fear so. This is a sacred ring. Part of a set that belongs to the prince. You mean it used to. We've got to find him fast. Here it is. I'll go in. You better keep Chicken Little outside. Right. Yes, young man? Are you Mr. Cashier? That is correct. And who are you? A friend of Prince Tava's. Hurry, hurry. Take it to the warehouse immediately. Now, why would they hide food unless... Of course! Nice work, Junior. Uh, he wouldn't talk, but I'm sure he's in on it. I know he is, and I know where they've got the prince. His warehouse. Where is it? Lynn Drive, off Magnolia. Well, that's near us. Okay, meet you there. Come on, follow us. goes well, my friends. Should I call for help? No. With my pets, we are certain. Hey! Regard! It is Ahmed! Hide the prince! Quickly! Hey! Where'd those guys come from? Who cares? Let's move! Fly swiftly, my dog. Come on. You want to drive? Look, there's another one of those pigeons. Pigeons? Well, who cares? Hey, whoop. Hey. Hey, wait, come back. Oh, man. Wow, did you see that? She's coming back. Man, didn't even scratch the pigeon. Hey, it's carrying a message. What's it say? The young fools have led us to the prince. He is at Kasha's warehouse. Come quickly, Ahmed. Ahmed, isn't that the guy? Yeah, but that would mean... Oh, no, come on. Up there. No, never. Hey, 
your highness. It's us, the Hardys. Oh, come on, Chubb. We're your friends. We're rescuing you from the Kasha's gang. No, you do not understand, my friends. Kasha is my friend. Good day, your highness. Ahmed is my enemy. I was fleeing from him when I left the ship. You mean we assisted me? But of course, I uh, was most fortunate to find such excellent detectives. There it is. Be careful now. There is no escape this time, Tava. I shall end your rule once and for all. We shall see, Ahmed. Yes, perhaps your friends will help you again. <laughs> no, my mean will soon be here. Wait here. Psst, buddy, want to buy a rib? Cheap? Dog, you shall die. So much for Attila the Hun. Oh, Doc! Gupta, where are you? Gupta! Hey! Wait ahead of him, Willie. Where are your men, Ahmed? They better hurry. Do not try my patience, Tava. Ah, as I said, uh, <laughs> you what? We've got some bad news, Ahmed. Your letter couldn't be delivered. You forgot the stamp. The last two. You will not get me. Ramallah, strike! No! No! Well, a bird in the bat's worth two in the bush, I always say. You see, I hid because I was afraid of Ahmed. Well, why did you hawk the ring? I had no money until I found Kasha. But you are two good detectives. You found me easily. She was a real detective. You said it. We could use her. Too bad she can't play drums. That's right. And she wouldn't eat very much. Hey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there's a gang of electronic thieves in this area. They communicate by short wave. And since we're making a record around here... Dad wants us to keep an ear open. Ah, uh, you'll never hear anything. Hey, wait! Go back! Uh, Hudson, this is an answer. Hudson, that's them. That's their signal. Give me your position. Just passing through Fisher Farms. Coming up on Hillsworth Reservoir. Hey, hey, look! Quiet. Good. When you finish the job, rendezvous at point KP. Right. Listen, will you? Not now, Wanda K. If we only knew where those places were. They're right here. Look. Man, she's right. That means that thieves must be... Up there! In that truck! Follow it. Yeah, we'll do the record later. Yeah, and look where. They're gonna rob our recording studio. Come on, let's grab him. Wait, give him some time to get started. Right, come on, we'll do our number first. Hot Wheels. Boys control Kennedy Airport. The tower speaks and tells you what to do. Remco's Voice Control Kennedy Airport is just like a real airport. You get over 16 different orders from the tower's electro recorder that you hear through your earphones. Listen. Ground Control clears United 117. Kids, for real excitement and adventure, take off with Remco's Voice Control Kennedy Airport. Brand new Hot Wheels for you. Jimmy Jones Hot Wheels, amazing. Amazing, fiery, whizzing, sizzling, amazing, blazing, hot wheels. Amazing, blazing, super 
future Hot Wheels show and go-cars. Show and go. They're new. Look what they do. Amazing, blazing Hot Wheels Grand Prix cars. New, like the real ones. The big ones. The ones that roar at the raceway. Amazing, blazing Hot Wheels. Custom classics new. They do what they do faster than you can see. See? See the 1969 Genuine Fiery Hot Wheels. Get them alone or in super action sets. At your authorized Hot Wheels dealer. The one and only Mattel Hot Wheels. They're cool. These are the wonder years, ages 1 through 12, when your child actually grows to 90% of her adult height. Each slice of Wonder Bread supplies protein for muscle, minerals for strong bones and teeth, carbohydrates for energy, vitamins for nerves, all vital elements for growing minds and bodies. To help make the most of these Wonder Years, serve Wonder Bread. Wonder helps build strong bodies 12 ways. Every spaceman knows you just gotta have Hostess Twinkies along. Even the space girls know it. You get a big delight in every bite. <laughs> Delicious Hostess cream-filled Twinkies taste out of this world. With luscious, creamy white filling inside, soft golden sponge cake outside. You get a big delight in every bite. Yep, smart spacemen always have plenty of good taste in Twinkies along. Wherever they go. Hostess Twinkies. This is for Mavis and all you girls. Baby, it sure is. Stop! Those guys are phonies! They're thieves! Uh oh let me out of here! Here they come! 
We don't know where their rendezvous is. Yeah, but maybe we can find out. You mean... That's right. Take their place. <laughs> okay, give us five minutes and keep tuned in. We'll be there. Hey, what about me? You wait. This might be dangerous. Then how come you're going? Too dangerous, my foot. Uh-oh. What's the matter? A flat tire. Hey, this was no accident. Somebody cut it. Cut it? But that's... Wait a second. It's been sabotaged. See them? No, they must be back there. Hudson, this is an announcer. Come in. Can you imitate him? I'll try. Hudson here. I got the stuff. Good. Here's your route. Take Highway 35 to Washington Boulevard, then check in. Right. It worked. I hope Frank was listening. Oh, man! We better call the police! We can't. They'd pick up the broadcast. We'll have to figure out where Point KP is ourselves. Okay, announcer. Come in. Short way! Maybe I can listen in. Hudson here. Come in. This is announcer, Hudson. Continue on Ridge Road to County Line, then left to KP. Check. Signing off. Rocky? Yeah? Those wise kids are coming. Get rid of them. Fast. Hey, you're not supposed to know. Oh, oh no. Wait. Stop him. Oh, where? Say, I'd better call Joe. Joe? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Joe? State fishery here. Oh! Hey, you! What are you doing? Come on now! No, you don't understand! Oh, fully! We must be almost there. Yeah, where's Frank? Hey, look! Up there! So that's it! Point KP! Of course! Turn in! Okay. Okay, big shot detectives, pull over. And don't expect your buddies, neither. We've got to find Joe and Pete fast. I know, but where are they? They could have turned off anywhere. I fixed the radio, maybe. Hey, I did that group. Who are they? Us. Oh. That was the Hardy Boys, girls. The time is 4.30. That's him. Who? It's the bad guy. That's his voice. Are you sure? Yes, get it back. And remember, fans, this is the star station KLIP. KLIP. KP. Come on, Chubb. Frank, call the police. 
Why don't we get two? Here's two! KLIP, hurry. Cover all exits. I don't believe it. Down there. Okay, let's move fast. Open that back! Well, that's that. Hey, what about Joe and Pete? He said to get rid of them. Oh, no. Say, do you hear something? Get rid of them, huh? Well, they're bound to turn up somewhere. Do you hear anything? Well, maybe. Well, look who's here. I knew if we looked in enough trash cans, sooner or later we'd find them. Very funny. Brought to you by Cliff, the Quasi Energy Cereal from Outer Space, and Quake, the Earthquake Power Cereal from the center of the Earth. They're from Quaker. Turn off the lights to see something? No, really. It's my great new offer inside packages of Quake Cereal. Look. You glow in the dark. There's Mama, too, and the cave cat. Actually, kids, they are glow-in-the-dark stickers. You can put them anywhere, on a wall, on a lamp, even on you. You'll glow wherever you go. Let's see you top that, Quisp. Okay, how about a real working spacecraft that fits in the palm of your hand? You just fold in the chute, seal the cockpit, and throw it. In a few seconds, pop, a recovery chute blossoms out, and your spacecraft Floats back to Earth. Get yours today. Fifty cents and two box tops from Kuwisp Cereal. Aha, but there's one glowy inside every specially marked package of Quake Cereal. Get my spacecraft. Get my glowies. But mine's better. No, mine is. No, mine. Mine is better. Oh, boy, here come the hardy. Oh, boy. from the lost world, a creature created by you. You control the strange change machine, which brings the capsules to life. And you control the compression chamber, which turns these creatures back into capsules. You bring strange creatures to life. You send them back. Because with these 16 mysterious time capsules and Mattel's strange change machine, you are the creator of a lost world. Uh, and Grandma Tokyo is stepped on the roof. You bet I am, Sammy. I need help, Rondo. Somebody say, Rondo, get him up, bike. Ronto here to help. What's the ninja doing here? You kidding? Ninja here first. Oh. Send them back. You must have an eye like an eagle. You said them. 
Up the morning, Grandma. Yay! How come you ride a bike on the tightrope so well? I eat balanced diet and start every day with Conto cereal. Every bowl full of Conto got a full day's supply of vitamins and iron. You get a nutrition, Conto. Mm, it's sweet and crunchy, too. Yummy. Mm, that's what makes me hero. You mean? Huh. Every helping of Conto helps Conto help. Get Pronto cereal from Quakers. Hmm. Welcome to the biggest toy box you've ever seen, with all kinds of great toys for you. It's the Toy Town at Sears. We call it the Big Toy Box, but there's more fun at Sears than any box could hold. Come see a world of fun in the Big Toy Box at Sears. The great toys for great kids are in the Big Toy Box at Sears. Charms, the Frosted Oat Cereal with sweet surprises. Hearts, moons, stars, clovers. See? Magically delicious. Oh, I'll make a motor. Frosted Lucky Charms with sweet surprises. Magically delicious. Welcome to Archie's Fun House! Featuring the Jarrett Jukebox! And now, let's get the show on the road! Very funny, Reggie. I thought so. <laughs> As I was saying... Hold it, Arch! Now what? Your makeup is a mess. Makeup? <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call a blank expression. Okay, gang, and now we're going to have a ball. Fumble, fumble, fumble. As I started to say, gang, our show today is... Real cool. Hey, Jughead, what's with the eyes? Well, Archer... You, Juggy! Ah, Big Admiral, the whole list of me, will ya, Arch? <laughs> and now... Yang! Archie, hold still! <laughs> Sorry! And then... Eureka! I've got it. My latest invention. What is it? I haven't got a name for it yet, but just wait until you see this. Well, whatever it was, it got the show started with a bang. And speaking of big noises, here's Big Ethel! <sighs> Just like a gaucho with the old South American bolo trick. On the way! On the way! Boy, it's sure great to get away from Ethel. <laughs> I got the whole lake to myself. Oh, yo, Juggy! Oh, no! <laughs> you might as well give up, Juggy. You can't get away from the old rocket-powered speed skater. 
Well, I guess this calls for secret weapon number 13. The old cat burglar trick. There's my tiger. Now, to slink up the ladder ever so quietly, lift open the window, and then... Don't look so down, Ethel. Here's something that'll pick you up. Thunderbolt Theater! Quick, drippy gags! Why are you hanging that painting? Because I couldn't find the artist. Fire at will! Yeah, won't Will get mad? What's another name for an iceberg? A permanent wave. That joke was all wet. Hear about the mixed up telephone operator? Yeah, she had a lot of hang ups. How about that for a hotline? Miss Grundy, I do hope I look as good as you when I'm your age. You did. Hold that pose. I want to forget you two just as you are. I'll give you ten bucks to do all my worrying. Okay, where's your ten bucks? That's the first thing you have to worry about. <laughs> How do you like my new outfit? It was made in Paris. Oh, did you swim over in it? <laughs> Too bad that joke didn't come over. <laughs> How much are your four dollar shoes? Two dollars a piece. <laughs> A wolf in ship's clothing. <laughs> you called? Hey, I just got an idea. Oh, beginner's luck. <laughs> Did you take a bath? Why is one missing? <laughs> well, that wasn't very funny, but it's clean. <laughs> uh, hey, Reggie, you got a quarter for a hamburger? Yeah, but first let me see the hamburger. Oh, a pig that gets out of Reggie is practice. <laughs> uh, you say your name is Captain what? What are you doing, Chuggy? I'm forming a new rock group. That's silly. <laughs> a one and a two and a one. Hey, hey don't tell anybody, but if you want to look thin, hang around very large buildings. <laughs> Reggie has that, um, uh, that certain nothing. The whole world's not against you, Ethel. America, yes, but not the whole world. Uh, what are you doing under that cloud? This whole show is under a cloud. But seriously? Science sure has made magnificent strides. Yes, now it's only 50 years behind comic books. Uh, seriously? <laughs> oh, hey, this is pause for pie break. Jughead, you'd get lots more dates if you were a little neater. It isn't worth it, Arch. You comb your hair, wash your face, change your socks, then three weeks later, you have to do it all over again. <laughs> oh. Moose, what's the idea? Yeah, well, you told me to put on a finished coat. This has got to be the end. Have we got time for the performing seals?
That's the toasted oat taste of Cheerios. The energy breakfast with protein and vitamin B1 to help you feel groovy all morning long. Get in the Cheerios groove. Feeling groovy, just have my Cheerios. Groovy, groovy. Mattel, the people who bring you Twin Mill, Genuine, Hot Wheels, Lola, Ford Vicky, Split and Image, Chaparral and Woody, Turbofire, McLaren, Ford Coupe, 57 T-Bird, Ford Mark, Ford Torero, Hot Heat, Ford J, Silhouette, Volkswagen, Dior, Piper. Now bring you the new Hot Wheels Talking Service Center. Check under the hood, sir. Makes your Hot Wheels come alive. Sir, park on the third level, please. You can buy Hot Wheels track to add right on the Talking Service Center and go. Mattel, people who bring you Split and Image, Genuine Hot Wheels Chaparral, Woody, Turbo Fire, McLaren and Ford Coupe, Twin Mill, Lola, Ford Vicky, 57 T-Bird, Ford Mark IV, Torero, Hot Heat, Ford J, Silhouette, Volkswagen, Dior, Python. Now, bring you the new Hot Wheels Wipeout Race Game. They're off. Oil slick, spin out, bash, flat tire, engine trouble, wipeout, pass, wipeout, watch out, it's wipeout. You use your racing know-how to miss the hazards and beat your friends. Wipeout Race Game. It's cool. He's really beginning to fall for me in a big way. Today at the library, he dropped in on me unexpectedly. Oh! Then, Diary, he asked me if I'd like to go swimming. Ah, uh, Betty, uh, why did you go jump in the lake? And this afternoon, dear Diary, I overheard Archie talking about me in the hall. Oh, he told Reggie I send shivers up and down his spine. Sometimes Betty gives me the creeps. Of course, Reggie has a crush on me, too. He told Archie that he'd like to get me off by myself. Yeah, I wish she'd get lost. Until next time, Diary, I remain sincerely yours, Betty. And now, here's the star of our show, the giant jukebox. Juggy, yeah! have you ever seen a string orchestra? No, but I've seen a rubber band. Oh, that was a snappy one. <laughs> what do you call a musical bee? A humbug. <laughs> Oops. Gosh, I never could carry a tune. Breaking in this song. You wouldn't have to break in if you had the right key. <laughs> Moose, why are you strumming that fish? Because I'm playing the scales. <laughs> Juggy, how do you stand in your music class? In the corner. Shall we dance? Reggie, you sang in the girls' glee club? But they put me in the boys section and took all the glee out of it. <laughs> <laughs> My father gave me a hundred dollars for music lessons. Oh, really? What did you do with the money? All right, gang, get yourself set. Pack those feet, tune up those ears. We're traveling along to our first song, that new jukebox hit, Love Vibrations. Vibrations speed. 
Such a big mouth. <laughs> oh no, then how come she can sing duets by herself? <laughs> Ooh, la, 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 la. What do you call that? The three days. Oh, now that 
That's what I call foul singing. <laughs> With a beat for our next new jukebox hit. I'm just a puppet on a string. I'm just your puppet on. A plastic model of the fantastic Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. It comes with magic cutout wings and makes its own funny noise, like the one in the movie. My kitty driving to the Honeycomb Castle. Mine's gonna fly. Bet I beat ya. Collect all three colors, one free in each specially marked box of Post Honeycomb. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, we love you. sounds you heard came from the Sound of Power Astrogun by Marks. It's out of this world. Listen. It's creepy. It's eerie. Get the Sound of Power Astrogun by Marks. It's out of this world. Gonna make you dance 